I think that's coming out at some point. Uh, but let's just move on. Thoughts on, on DJ Khaled album? Yo, DJ Khaled dropped a really trash album, man. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know why it came out. I don't know how it came out like this. I'm comparing this project now to this project last time. This shit is trash. You feel me? You got two old-ass Drake songs from, like, three years ago. You got, like, a Baby and Dirk song. That was a throwaway. I'm going to keep it a 1,000 with y'all. That was a throwaway. Like, Dirk ain't giving no good shit. That was a throwaway song, bro. Like, I'm going to keep it a 1,000 with y'all. That wasn't the, the lit joint that Dirk and, 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 and Baby got. That shit was a throwaway. They gave it that nigga. That was a throwaway. I listened to, uh, they had another song on there. It was throwaways. Like, yo, DJ Khaled ain't coming to shit this time. Either niggas ain't respecting them, or niggas is just like, yo, just like, like, just not fucking with them type shit. You feel me? So, like, I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. This shit is crazy. This shit was whack this time around. And, and truth be told, that last, that last DJ Khaled project, I felt like he went hard on it, man. Like, even though, you know, sometimes we play around with him, I think he was mad at... I don't know if it was a Grammy nomination or something like that. He was a little mad, and people just kind of played him like, ah ha, you really thought you was going to get one. <clears throat> all right, fuck all that. I'm going to just be honest with y'all, man. That nigga, Khaled, went hard on that last project. This shit, that nigga mailed it in, man. That shit was not it. This shit was whack. Khaled know it was whack. Again, I think he felt like he just t he touched all bases by... Two Drake songs that's been out. He got Baby and, and Dirk on the track, and he was trying to just get everybody who was relevant. He got 21 Savage and Bieber. But I'm going to be honest with you. These songs ain't hitting. They not knocking. These shits is whack. I'm glad you got Jay-Z and, and Nas on the track, but this shit whack, bro. This shit is whack. Like, Khaled, this was a misstep, my brother. This shit was whack. I, I can't even lie to you. This was whack. And... I know people don't appreciate Khaled. I appreciate Khaled. I just don't feel like this was it for him. I think he'll come back, do better. But right now, I listen to this garbage, and I almost spit every time. I'm... This is garbage, man. man. Who the fuck called my phone? Somebody called my phone from San Lucas, California. Who the, Who this? Anyway, if it's Khaled calling, that shit whack, bro. Bro, oh my God, nigga, I'm not answering y'all. Now they calling on no call ID. Man, I ain't answering y'all, man. Whoever that is, man, get your stoke ass the fuck out of here, man. I ain't trying to talk to you. God damn. Anyway, yo, Khaled, that shit was trash, bro. You could do better. Trash. I'm going to tell you what's, like... Khaled, you're not supposed to let the the YSL album be better than your shit, nigga. Like, they threw anybody and everybody on it. Young Thug had his sister rapping on this shit. Nigga had his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend rapping on this shit. You're not supposed to, like, fucking get the best of the best Bieber, 21 Savage, two Drake tracks, Lil Baby, Lil Durk, and come up with some mid. Are you fucking dumb? Nigga, you got Jay-Z and Nas coming out of retirement. Are you crazy, nigga? This shit was fucking mid. Like, come the fuck on, brother. I just can't understand. The Buju track is cool, bro, but that's not going to carry an album. First of all, I'm telling you, the album had old-ass tracks. Maybe it would have looked better if he had dropped this project right after... Pop star in Greece was charting. But those songs just seem mad old. Like, Drake has had, like, four other tracks that popped up. Drake had the Your Minds Now track. He's had um Solid. He's had a few other tracks just kind of, like, pop up on the bill. Like, this just seemed mad old. The Meek track, Fire. We could listen to it. I, I listen to a Meek track. You know me. I just skip the Meek joints. Khaled. Let's listen to Khaled. 
There's a Meek joint on there. Let's listen to this shit. Oh, this? Let's hear. I can't have it all with Meek. Yeah, I know you're tired, baby. 18, they gave him life, so we got prayer and belief. And try this nigga rapping about, about a bunch of nothing, bro. Like, I ain't gonna, I think it's the beat, though. Like, I I'm gonna listen to this other Meek track afterwards, but the beat just remind me of this. Like, you use this beat, nigga, I just hear this in my mind. Trash. This is trash. This nigga sound like blue face off beat. I don't know what it, I, I'm not with this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Let me give the civil line. Don't think, oh, act, I get it, you don't like me. No. I'm gonna be honest with you, beats like this, like this is a beat like uh, a Do Not Disturb by Drake. Like he uses beats like this. Meek isn't the best on these beats. Like Meek is good with beats that allow him to have some lyricism, but energy. He's an energy guy. He's a guy who wants to scream, wants to shout, wants to, you know what I mean, build up. Like this shit right here is just, it's not doing it for me. Could be for y'all. Like for example, like I'm gonna be honest with you, the day Meek drops some song like Pray For Him, like, I'm telling you, songs like this or I'm going to play like they this shit right here. Like, 1942. I still think like, yo, it's a different vibe than that Lemon Pepper Freestyle. 1942 is fire too. But it's a different vibe than Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Like, look, bro, like, like he's just rapping from the gut. He's rapping from like just the heart. Like, it looked like that Lemon Pepper Freestyle, he was just kind of rhyming. But I didn't feel like that meek essence, that presence there. You get me? Again, this is. I hope you don't think this is hate at all. Because like, I think 1942 flows is fire. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, again, remove all problems that I've ever had with meek. I'm, I'm just talking music. When meek rap like the underdog, I fuck with him. When Meek rap like the underdog, like is everybody against him? Like everybody want him to lose. Everybody want to like, yo, he's fire, bro. I'm being honest with you. You get me? So when I say that Lemon Pepper Freestyle didn't do it for me, I just think, uh, I mean, okay, you can say whack is subjective, but like I wasn't feeling it that much because it didn't feel like that motivation that was there for Meek to kind of, Yo, let me show you what it is. That's it. That's the shit that's always made Meek's music bop for me. Like, it's always been, like, damn. He's still channeling, he's channeling, like, the struggle. He's still channeling being the underdog. And for a while, shit, he was the underdog, especially during the, the Drake thing, right? So, like, you hear him started off poor with plans to grow. You know I mean, like, oh, shit. But when he's just kind of rapping bars, he's lyrical when he wants to be. But those lyrics mean nothing to me if he's not conveying it with emotion. And when I listen to the the, the, the Lemon Pepper Freestyle, do I have it up here? No. It's not that. Okay? So so don't think I'm just hating on me. Anyway, um, give me another Meek song that, that I'll, I'll play to. Let me see here. Like, you, you hear when Meek, like, some shit that he kind of cares about. And they even, look, Summer 16, Summer 16. Like, Meek got to sound like he been losing all his life. And, like, if he don't win right here, he about to be dead. You know what I mean? Let's see. Like, look at this. He bodied this shit. And then I go, I'm gonna play. Turn me up. The turn when that money burn was a Balenciaga. Okay. Anyway, um, I, I think that was a good good meat mill performance. Anyway, um, let's go to Instagram. 